Hello and welcome. This is Thomas's Tower page with myself, Thomas Janak. This is your June 2022 general reading for the sign of Cancer. Now, Cancerians, you are governed by the moon. So um, um, the video here will be slightly divided into different areas. Uh, we will be talking about um, the overall energy as it presents themselves for the months of June. And then we will look into your emotional core. So anything that is mentioned in your emotional core is always a bit deeper simply because you are governed by the moon. And then we go from there to um, opportunities. And opportunities are what sustains you financially in the month of June for your sign uh, Taurians or Taurus. And those who have watched these videos before probably noticed that I'm number one, I'm not alone. And number two, I'm not even in my own house. I'm in my friend's house, Ellen Cook. You know? And she is an artist. You can see the beautiful artwork here. And this artwork is here to whet your appetite because we're working together on a card deck that will feature all LM Cook's artwork and then my um, my messages, so to speak. Um, and that will um, there will be a Kickstarter happening very soon. So keep an eye out if you subscribe to, to his channel, um, you will be the first to know. Um, yeah, let's let's do that. And then without further ado, we're now looking at the um, overall energy for the month of June 2022 for the sign of Taurus. And when you when I, if I look a bit hunched, that's because the the, the stand isn't quite weird. I'm, I'm just sort of half in. See, so there's nothing wrong with me. I'm not in pain <laughs> at all. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> but um, so that's why I'm sitting a bit weirdly. All right. So, with no further ado, here is the overall energy for the month of June 2022 for the signs of cancer. Taurus. No, it's cancer. cancer. Did, I say, did I say cancer earlier? You said cancer, then you said Taurus, and then you said Taurus. But it's cancer! It's cancer. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> Just forget everything I said about Taurus. It's cancer. I'm not with it. Anyway, it's cancer. right? And if you are a Taurus and you watch it, you watch two videos now. I hope you have a friend that is cancer. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> Here we go. Anyway, this is the overall energy for the month of June 2022 for the sign of cancer. And the card that threw itself out of the deck was the wild, that wild rose fairy, uh, which is coming up. So this will be interesting to see what comes out on the emotional side in a couple of minutes. But it sounds like the overall energy for you this month is love. It doesn't have to be... Uh, romantic love necessarily, it could be your family, it could be um, you know love for the community really, but there's going to be this, this sort of aura of things being lovable and loving around you for the whole month. So let's see what will come out next on the emotional core given the, uh, the, the initial start. Yeah, and what we have is indeed community and world. So this is interesting because this is about how you connect emotionally to people. While this is not about um, finding true love or rekindling the relationship you're in, this is really about understanding that wherever it is you are living, um, make it work for you. You know, have a look what's, what's around the corner. Maybe there's a nice cafe, maybe there's a, a library, maybe there's some community place where you can literally make friends with people. Uh, because energetically speaking, when you have the world energy, and the world is a big place. What I'm getting for Cancerians is that there's a bit of isolation going on in June for you. So there might be the, the sense of feeling a bit lonely uh, and maybe a bit um, detached from everything. And so that energy with the community means like, you know, reach out to what you have at your doorstep, right? And that's all I really got. The interesting thing about the community here is that it is depicted, obviously there's the, the moon in the background. And then you have these little wolves here. And the wolf, as one of the most prominent Native American symbols um, tells you that you have to be in charge, in control of your own life. And what the wolf is saying to you with regards to making friends, feeling and being wanted is that, you know, you have to run a pack. And even if it's a, a pack of one, right, um, learn to be comfortable in any situation you may find yourself in because it is in you feeling comfortable that you don't have to look for outside impetus. There's nobody that needs to be there to fulfill you. All these kinds of things. Because what I'm getting also for, for the community energy, no offense to any Cancerians, but 
the, if that energy here feels a bit needy, so there is a, a likely a part in you at the moment where you maybe even come across as a bit clingy, if that makes sense. And it doesn't have to be that way, right? Because when you when you actually reach out, you will notice that a lot of people actually do like you, if that makes sense. So that's what we got for your emotional core. And now lastly, we're looking at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of June for the sign of cancer. You are watching Thomas Tau, page with myself, Thomas Yannack, and my guest, Ellen Cook. Remember the artwork, there is a little link. Well, maybe not so little, that's just a link <laughs> in the description box. Um, because Ellen Cook has a Facebook shop and she sells the most beautiful things um, and um, worth checking it out. Um, so that's, that's in the description box. And the box. And now we're looking at the um, opportunities for the months of June 2022 for Cancerians. And the opportunities, the card that came out was the meandering pathway, which is um, sort of representative of flow. So basically what you need to do a little bit is try not to cling on too much to things. Try not to force things to happen. If you go with the flow a little bit more, you'll find that the things that you need will come to you more easily. But if you're going to try and force them through and hammer them through, then they won't. They're, going to, they're actually going to slip out of your grasp. So think about what's happening. It links quite nicely, yeah. actually, to the, the previous yeah. cards again about the community, etc. Don't try and force it. Don't try and hang on to stuff that isn't really there. Look and see what is around you and go with that flow and trust that actually the universe is going to provide for you because that's what it does if you don't try and force it too much. Yeah. And because you used the word Klingon, I thought about Klingons, <laughs> so I will very, very soon have a little Star Trek night. So, honor to your house. See you all next time. Kapla. Thank you very much. Kapla. <laughs>